to another episode of the RK Tokens podcast. Of course, we are the RK Tokens. I am the anomaly, Will Farrow. Cleo Thomas, aka Mr. Slick Liv. I'm Patrick Cloud. And as you can see, Cleo is quite distracted right now because he is, he can't, you know him, he can't wait. He is a spoiled king, the king of the spoilers. So he has to know first before we jump into anything what's going on. And of course, this episode today, we are talking about the video game awards. The new, uh, uh, what it is, nominations have just came out. We are now knowing who's going to be in the lineup for the uh, video game awards coming here in December. So of course, the arcade tokens had to take a look and get to uh, talk about who we think is going to take the win in certain selected categories that we have up here. Now, for those that are watching the video version, you can see uh, all of the selections here, the arcade tokens, each of us will go around picking which category, and we will also be submitting our vote as a joint group into the video game award so that hopefully the game we choose will take the cake. Now, for us audio, for you audio folks that are uh, listening, thank you for one for listening. Also, those who are watching, uh, we will be letting you know exactly which category we're picking, what the uh, pe- the nominees in there will be, and of course, who we are going to decide. So, uh, as the folks is watching the visuals can see, the uh, nominees are up, and so I'm going to go ahead and let one of the uh, PS5 twins, since they are so privileged, I don't think they wanted to go without you know. Uh, sitting here waiting for us, you know, PS4, Xbox, 360 folks. So I was like, you know, I'll let the two of you decide which one of you would like to go first. Fusion. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'll, I'll go first, man. I'll jump into this. This is really exciting, man. I think our first category up is Game of the Year. Um, you want to start there? I want to start, start there. You want to start the big one? All right, we're going big one. All right, we're going big then. So let's see who who our nominees are for Game of the Year. Um, first game off top is Doom Eternal, followed by Final Fantasy VII Remake, then Ghosts of Tsushima, uh, the video game Hades, the game Animal Crossing New Horizons, and The Last of Us Part Two six video games that have been nominated for game of the year um, so um off top though the dark horse in all this hear me out animal crossing <laughs> no i'm just ready all right look listen i just want to be the one to say it so if it happened i right, look i'm not gonna brag but i'm just letting y'all know we don't we we don't know about Animal Crossing, but you know I be watching other folks. These people be excited. There is a hundred and thirty seven page booklet that came with this game, and they could not wait to have it. So I'm just saying, Animal Crossing is definitely the dark horse in this category. You talked about it being popular, and when you're talking about it being good, and you see Final Fantasy remaking, Ghost of Tsushima, The Last of Us. I, do, I, I think it's just the random, per, it's the random game in here. But I can, I, I'll keep that to myself because, like you said, we are not really familiar with it. I tried it, didn't like it, but we're not yeah. that familiar. <laughs> I mean, okay, it's been out for 15, 16 years. Like Animal Crossing has a pedigree to it. It's been around for for a long time since the GameCube. I think it was like the first one that came out. So yeah. it's been around. But yeah, obviously we just don't really dabble in that that, that world right. or that arena of games so it's yeah. what it is. and i do say and i do say dark horse so i'm not saying dark horse is definitely that one that it's like it may come out of nowhere but it's definitely not like it definitely has a huge competition against it like final fantasy 7 ghost of tashima uh doom icon last of us part two I, I, I feel like none of us are going to acknowledge that but i think we shouldn't be so bright <laughs> Yeah, man. The Last of Us Part Two was a huge letdown, I think, for everyone who was playing the game to get the story, get get a better story. It, it just didn't pay off, I think, for anybody who's been invested in the, those characters since the very first Last of Us. Uh, Animal Crossing, for me, when quarantine hit, 
it caught a huge wave of PR. Everybody was talking about it because everyone was at home. They were bored, and people were like, you know what? We're going to go farming and whatever the hell you do in Animal Crossing. I haven't played the game yet. I do know it has a very, very strong, solid fandom. And uh, I would, I'm with Will. I would not be surprised if it steals Game of the Year. I really wouldn't. Hades, this is a game kadeen has been playing. It is about Greek mythology. I think you play as... It's um, fire. Huh? Zagreus. You don't even understand how many hours. I have put... 48 to almost 50 hours into this goddamn game. I have played it nonstop, back, front to back. Still not done with it. I'm just happy that it's here. I'm happy that it's on this list. It's not winning. I get it. It's not going to win. But it even being on the list, I am happy. Nominated. That's all. Does it play like God of War? Like, what does it play like? It plays, it's more over the top. Uh, Actually, let me click on it. Let me see if we can get get some actual, uh, oh, shit. I'll, I'll do that later. You cast off. Oh, you! Oh, I canceled. I canceled the vote. The vote was canceled. I just can't. I just canceled it. I just canceled. Gave our vote to Satan. Hades is <laughs> a dope game in itself. I've seen Kadeem do gameplay of that one. It's dope. We I all jump. Ghost of Tsushima multiplayer mode. Uh, I haven't finished the story mode for that. Doom Eternal. I did not jump into it. It's it's great to see a shooter on here. I didn't expect if there was going to be any first person shooter type game, I would have assumed it would have been Call of Duty, right, not right. Doom Eternal. But hey, it made it to the game of the year. But you know, I'm going to say Final Fantasy VII remake. I want that to win. Hey, listen, Square Enix, you guys just lost an ass ton of money on that Avengers video game. All that work you put into that, you should have put that exact team to hurry up and work on the Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two that we need coming out ASAP. No worry, you'll recoup all that money. That we needed the Avengers so game. We, we did. We did. No, we need- you played it for two weeks. That was a good two weeks. That was a great two weeks. Okay. When the Are last you still- time you picked up Ghost of Tsushima? Not since we played uh, it on multi. Uh, okay. There you go. Well, okay. So. But, but I would for sure play Ghost of Tsushima before I go play the uh, Avengers campaign. I think there was just a, a huge surge of dope video games that just, we just, we're still like catching that. Because think about it, Look how fast we got off of Tony Hawk Pro Skater. But look how so happy we could not wait for it to come out. And we only played it for a week. Uh, yeah. Yep. It's just a barrage of games. I I definitely think that Ghost of Tsushima, I'm not going to sit here and think and act like Final Fantasy blew Ghost of Tsushima out the water in my book. Like, I think they were both, they were both dope. Um, Final Fantasy, I I actually fell, I didn't finish it. I actually have a couple more. I I got to where he's uh, like trying to sneak into the the palace. He he dressed up as the the chick. I don't know. I, I never finished it. So... And I'm really into Ghost of Tsushima, so I wouldn't be surprised if either of those win. So I'm kind of, yeah. I'm hoping for one of those two. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I was, I'm torn between those two, which of course is Final Fantasy VII and like Ghost of Tsushima. Um, I have yet to play the story of Ghost of Tsushima. I do know it's a very like beautiful story. It's well played out and stuff. But man, it's just like never had never. I, I was like, and correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, I play like that. Trust me. This is this is Hades, but sorry, I just You were trying to prove his point with this. See, you should no. have just let it to our imagination. Yeah. Listen. Hey, Listen. this game blew up. Don't let Kadeem's co-sign only think that, that that's all it's It is nominated for game of the year for a no, no, reason. I, I love Greek mythology. I just I, God, I hate over the top games. It's the I just, butt. I'm not even gonna hold you. Like, <laughs> uh, nominated for butt, game of the year. I mean, that was yeah, the first couple levels. Story dope as hell. Story's I amazing. Story dope as hell. Story but I gotta amazing. say, like I said, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think there's been another game that's got a remake that was as flawless as Final Fantasy VII. It's it's funny you say that. I'm gonna let you go ahead and continue with that. No, um, I'm saying if I'm wrong, please let me know. Like I, no, I'm just saying, like I don't. I wouldn't call it a remake, but it is something that's nominated later on. But I, what I'm actually upset is only nominated for one thing. Uh, Streets of Rage Four. Streets of Rage Four was actually an amazing comeback from a series. Do you do y'all know the last time Streets of Rage even came out? But it's not a remake though. The nineties. Yeah, from like from the nineties. It literally has not been out since then, and for it to actually, actually be. Everybody excited about that. 
I, I, I'm telling you, Pat, it's dope. It's a dope ass game. But it is, but compared to like the Final Fantasy I get Seven, it. I get it. I, I would say for fan service, hype wise, Final Fantasy deserves to win. Ghost of Tsushima is the first game. I feel like it's going to build a, a huge fan base if it keeps going in this direction. But Final Fantasy really did please its fans after all the hype, whereas Last of Us kind of did not. <laughs> So mm-hmm. if anybody deserves it, but I haven't also played Doom Eternal. I low-key want to buy it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one thing I'll say too. But I, I like I, I don't think Doom like ever has failed. I, again, I could be wrong, but I don't think I've never heard, I've, like Doom has always just been a great game when it drops. Yeah. But beside but besides it, like you said, you know what it is. It's a first person shooter, it's monsters, so it's just like okay. It, if Ghost of Tsushima mm. wins, I feel like isn't that two years in a row where you have the same type of uh, throwback warrior of that era winning? Because didn't Sekiro win Game of the Year just the year before? Yep, mm-hmm. and it only been out for two months. I, I no. don't know. No, that was Death Stranding. That was Death Stranding. Death Stranding. Yeah, that was, that was Death Stranding. That was out for like a month and a half and got nominated for Game of the Year. I'm just like, okay, that's impossible, but whatever. I mean, right. that's not fair. Why, uh, Samurais haven't had game uh, like a, a huge game in a long time. So I wouldn't I wouldn't see it to be weird if two Samurai games uh, won and, because they were both amazing. In my opinion, Ghost of Tsushima was the second swing that Sekiro needed. I feel mm-hmm. like it's basically like a better, m- more mainstream Sekiro with yeah. the co-op. I, I just feel like it's the kind of the same game, but better. Yeah. I, was, I, I can see how that happened. Yeah, for sure. Which one do we cast our vote on, man? What is for sure taking game of the year? I would say Final Fantasy. I'm going to go with Final Fantasy. I love Ghost of Tsushima. I like, like how, uh, just agree to like kind of on Pat's point. If it's good, it's good. Despite it being in the same type of genre as Sekiro, if it's a good game, it's a good game. It just happens to be that who's ever making samurai games is just getting it right. So, but I do have to say, just as far as like being a fan of Final Fantasy VII and just seeing everything they did to it. And plus to know that we still got more coming, definitely should get game of the year. I'm going to agree with both of the arcade tokens. And I'm going to say the Final Fantasy VII Remake will be winning game of the year. Better not say Hades on there. Can you you voted for a Final Fantasy VII Remake. Right there. Y'all see it. Mm-hmm. Right That's there. what it looked like when you said <laughs> Hades. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I took, right. my, took my vote back on that one. All right. So All back right, to so, so That's yes, all. back to all. So uh so we definitely went with the game of the year. Um now Pat, we're gonna let you go ahead and select the next category if you would please. Thank you, sir. Um I let's go ahead and do ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and start with best score and music. Mm. Okay. All right, here we go. That's really cool that they acknowledge, uh, you know, the details of games too. Oh, there it's Final Fantasy again, Doom <laughs> Eternal again, Hades ha- again, Hades, <laughs> Last of Us again. I don't know why. And Orb and the or- Will of the Wisps. Yo, or and the Will of the Wisps. Yo. Yeah. It's- or and the Will of the Wisps, bro. Look, game ain't all that, but that music fire. What like, is? It? I'm, I'm I'm talking about like. Like it's a pl- it's a platformer, it's yeah. a it's a platformer. It's a beautiful platformer. It's all those different type of colors and stuff like that. It's very, it's very uh, I, whimsical is the word I would use for it. Yeah, whimsical. it's like Journey and it's stuff. Video, yeah, if y'all see me play Journey, it's like that. But it's yeah. like yo, the music up there with like almost like Mario Galaxy type music. What mm-hmm. is it like? What, what kind of music is it like? It's like whim- like like how uh, Cadiz is whimsical. It's just yeah. like it's it just goes with it. Hold on, y'all keep going. I'm gonna pull it up while y'all do that. Go ahead. But yeah, here's my thing about Final Fantasy VII Remake being nominated as far as for best score in music. It's all the music that we're hearing in the game that, that are all remade to sound truly incredible. You have that nostalgic feeling of what you remember as a kid, as far as you know certain certain uh, areas on the map that you go to. The battle music is incredible when you get to a boss to hear those instruments like really, really loud, like really brought to life. It's it's truly incredible, but I don't think that it should be nominated and win considering we've heard this music before already. If these are, we're going original music, Doom Eternal, I have not heard that sound. Wait, 
I think I have heard Doom Eternal's music. It's just like hella rock music, right? Of course, like of course. Hella, hella loud and grungy. I, I hope that don't win. Hades, I d- don't really know. Hades, uh, fire. Us, I'm talking. Sorry. <laughs> Last of Us. <laughs> It's, it's, you know, that somber guitar. There's someone with a ukulele probably in the studio like Pat's doing it, all of their music. But if you guys are saying this whimsical music is the one to go with, um, I got to check it out. What, what, what system is this for? Uh, the Xbox and the... It's, it's, a, it's a Microsoft Studios original. They gave it to the Nintendo... The, like, you can get on the Nintendo Switch now, but for, it was something they just lent it over to them. But it's for sure a Microsoft uh, exclusive. Yeah, I, I I would just say for like the game wise, like the music selection and category is, is great. Like it matches the flow and the feel of the game um, from everything that's on here. That will be the one I would say I was most impressed with. Everything that like Cleo has said as far as like Last of Us, Hades, Final Fantasy Seven, and Doom. It's like it's cool, but it's nothing that just like makes you stand out. Except Final Fantasy Seven with the like what it was the. Da, 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 da. Good old to hear fan that fan. updated, yeah, to hear that updated is dope, but it's like, does it deserve an award? I don't know. I don't even know if I want to vote for this one. I, I, I haven't played four out of five of the games, so what would you guys vote? Would you guys vote or? I think it's Ori, but there's an I at the end of that. Yeah, Ori. 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 Mm-hmm. I'm out of the race on this one. Um, I don't want to vote for Final Fantasy because I don't think it's going to win. I don't think it should because we're just getting more updated instruments to play some of the iconic sounds and music that we heard growing up. Um, I don't really have a, a horse in this race, but if we've heard Will and Kadeem co-sign, are you guys co-signing the, the soundtrack and the music of Ori? I mean, yeah, it, I, it, I, for the play style that it is, you know what I mean? For outside music, inclusive score, original song, yeah, I, for, for sure. That part, that part. Would I tell you, like, download this to your playlist like Pat do with some of these songs? No, I wouldn't tell you to do that. But, like, for the game, perfect. Perfect for the game. Okay. Let's vote for Ori and the Will of the Wisps, a Microsoft Studios original that they then passed off to the Nintendo Switch, and let's hope that they port it to the xbox series x so you guys have something to play it's already on there bro relax oh okay got it because i thought you know you guys might have an original on your hands that's dope somebody to join lonely master chief (laughs) halo infinite tba forever master chief was in that room by himself like nigga microsoft (laughs) can i get some friends please (laughs) a bunch of people that look like me. <laughs> exactly. There's gear, people from Gears and, and Halo, they're switching guns like, y'all want to try this one? No? Okay. You want to try this one? <laughs> Marcus Phoenix throwing him the Lancer? Yo, <laughs> shit. Right? Yeah. This nigga cool. getting the Master Sword like, ooh, ooh, this is a good Gear 6. You know we got New Day coming too. They might love this. <laughs> But let's see, it's my goal. So I want to shake it up too. I want to go with best multiplayer. Uh-huh. I, I like think as the arcade tokens with split screen and everything else we have, I think that would be the perfect thing to see. Uh, let's multi- go, go one more down. One more down. Booyah. Right there. Best multiplayer. Look forward to seeing the nominees for this one. All right. So oh. our. Wow. This oh, this is, is tough. tough. This is one this of the is toughest is ones tough. I saw. This is a tough okay. one. So we got Animal Crossing. We have the the very currently popular Among Us. The always Titan Call of Duty Warzone. The uh, new up and comer Fall Guys and uh, Valorant. 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 Yeah. It's also they haven't played Valorant, uh, but for the for there's three in here that I'm just kind of like, who? Uh huh. Yeah. It's 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 the, it's the metal three. You know, we know what we're here for. It's, it's these three right here. Here's what I would say, and and, and I, I feel like we all play these games in different amounts, so it's probably going to be biased. Well, it's definitely biased. But I would say I would leave. I would count Warzone out for one reason. I think Warzone is a great game, but the fact that they kind of just jumped on the Fortnite and and Apex kind of train, and and they sort of just rode that and did it in their way. 
would be the only reason why they would kind of have be a little bit shorter than the other two. Among Us and Fall Guys is like wildly original. But I feel like I could play Fall Guys longer. I feel like it has more variety of gameplay. We're both really original, but Among Us, you're probably going to get a variation of the same game every single time, and they're doing better about that. But I don't know. I feel like Fall Guys all around is just a weirdly addictive game. And I, I see more people getting into Fall Guys than Call of Duty if you don't game. So I feel like multiplayer is all about that. I would give it to Fall Guys. Okay. Um, I I do I think still feel the same way about uh, as as Pat said with Call of Duty. I think it is more impressive that like they like he said they did ride the Fortnite train and they've been kind of doing that for the last maybe like couple of years. So for another multiplayer game to come and be its competitor. And kind of like string, like for folks that don't like to play that, like you said, you can go play Among Us and Fall Guys and it's very easy to learn. The only reason why I will give it to Among Us is because of this simple reason. This, they're asking for the best multiplayer in Among Us, you can play up to 10 people. Fall Guys, it's four. If it was more people in Fall Guys, I would feel a lot more better about it. But Among Us, you get to play with more people. You get to really see what it brings out, but everybody, I've never seen, either you gonna enjoy it or you are gonna absolutely hate it. Got to the to the right of me or wherever he is on the screen. But uh, I'm gonna go with Among Us. Yeah, man, I hate Among Us. I do not enjoy this gaming experience. I thought it was, I, I tried, I gave it a real shot. I tried to understand as far as like, oh, you know, you're gonna talk to people and you know you want to fool them i just don't enjoy it i don't it's too many questions being tossed at me you're accusing me of some shit i didn't do and i could still lose the game i Herman. didn't enjoy it at all uh, <laughs> call Forever. of duty Warzone is i mean it, it's the, like will said it's the titan it's it's taken over everybody's um consoles like everyone jumps onto Warzone and, and everyone seems to love it but fall guys man I Pat said you can get addicted to it. I became addicted to Fall Guys. I wanted more crowns. I wanted to figure out how to perfect every single stage that they threw me out there into. My vote will be Fall Guys for this, but I have a personal feeling Among Us is going to take it. I I love Among Us, but I feel like the the video part is very necessary, and that's something you do outside of the game. You know. Like you have to oh, jump gotcha. on, you have to jump on Zoom or the phone or Face Chat. When the game itself, if we were to, to just take all that off the table and just talk about the game, you're kind of just texting. Yes. And I don't, I don't think I would like that at all. I, I think it's all about, um, like you know, ac accusing your and trying to figure out your friends. As Good old interrogation. To, yeah, as opposed to like texting. Like I think it was red, yellow, sus. You know. I don't think I'd have fun doing it just text or with people I didn't know. Whereas Fall Guys, you could jump in with people and it's not really about that, I, even though that's more fun. I will also say this. I will, so real quick, I was going to say this, Will. The best mobile game Among Us is on that list as well. So right. I feel like it might win over there on mobile, but when it comes, to, multi, yeah, but when it comes to multiplayer, I don't think it can take this one. It's just what it's going I up against. I don't know, because even with you saying that, Pat, though, it's the same thing kind of with Fall Guys. When you play Fall Guys by yourself, it's kind of boring, but it's not till you get into a party and you talk with your friends that it's a little bit more fun. And I'm just speaking from my side. Like, I've never, like, sat here and played Fall Guys by myself. I'd rather play with people I know in a party. And that's the same thing you can do with Among Us. So you don't necessarily need a camera. You can just join a party and talk to one another. And then you still got the same kind of effect while you actually own your phone. But uh, but just like but I will say uh, just for the sake wise of this one, I will switch my stuff to Fall Guys just based off of the thing that Kadeem did just say. Multiplayer wise, I think Fall Guys will have it better as far as the popularity goes. But I think for a better mobile game, Among Us is the one that's gonna take that crown. Yeah, right, so I'm gonna go with Fall Guys for this to submit the vote. I've okay. I've been out and I've heard kids like I've heard the sound effects of Fall Guys, and I look and I see a kid 
playing Among Us on their freaking mobile phones. I'm just like, yo, to, to know that that kid's playing that, but then I can go to Twitch and hear grown ass people arguing over this game is crazy to me. But yeah. the dopest thing I have seen though for Among Us too, uh, 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 someone that I know their uh, uh, birthday, their, their uh, kid in the house made the Among Us stage for their party. So it was like to go in, they made the little thing to put the task in and stuff like that. They had the rules of like who was the imposter and how you were able to like be the person. So like if you died, you had to like lay down and stuff like that. So I'm just like, yo, to say like that's what's kind of bringing this stuff out of there. I don't know. That's what I'm just like. But either way, Fall Guys or Among Us, I, I would rather that than Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Either one. All right. Uh, Kadeem, would you like to make a dealer's choice? Oh, okay. wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, because you went, right, Cleo? No, well, yeah, I went already, but I was trying to get us the best fighting, if I'm just going to be honest. Eh, best fighting's not even that. We can go best fighting. Let's just get it out the way. It's 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 honestly, I looked at it, I'm like, it's like, eh, it's... We know what it is already. Yeah, exactly. Like, the, the fighting games really weren't that crazy. So, I feel like this is going to be an easy, easy win. Oh. What? Smash doesn't make it? I, I guess it didn't come out this year. One Punch Man? Yep. One Punch Man has a fighting game? Yep, exactly. Like I said, this is an easy win. I like One Punch Man, but shit, when, when did that? What? Right? So, <laughs> One Punch Man, the game, it, you don't play with One Punch Man, just so you know, in this game. Oh, uh, Mortal Kombat for the win. Uh-huh. Mortal, Mortal Kombat so for the win. The idea, obviously, if One Punch Man was actually playable, he'd kill everybody with One Punch, obviously. So, the idea is that you have to survive until One Punch Man gets there. Yeah, Mortal Kombat 11 for the win. Yeah, I know. Imagine I'm already already know. a Dragon Ball Z game where you couldn't be Goku. Yeah, it's like, bro. It, like, they just dropped the game when, when he's sitting inside the damn chamber, getting healed up. You got to play that one part over and over again. So this is God of War, but you're not Kratos. Just, Fact. just so you know. Yeah. You're a demon sidekick watching as everything goes down, trying to save yourself while Kratos destroys everything. I don't, I don't know anybody else in that show that I would want to be, low key. The dude on the left's pretty dope. No, he's clear. I don't know. But I mean, he got his ass whooped. What's so. the point? He got yeah. his ass whooped by everybody. <laughs> he, he did. He did. He just had some crazy ass moves. Did you huh? want to say, Cleo? Are we talking about the guy on the left of the One Punch Man poster? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I forgot I his name. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. This, yeah, this is... is Mortal Kombat victory. Go ahead, click it and go. I expected yeah. this something I didn't know, but okay, thanks. I'm so, yeah. Sorry, bro. Even though we did play that Grand Blue uh, Fantasy at OS, that was the game that we played together, bro, and that was a good yeah. game. It was pretty it fun. Was a good game. Yeah, but, but you know who gonna win? You know who gonna uh, win best fight next year, though? Black some corruption. Oh, okay. facts. Okay, put it out there, Will. Nice drop, nice drop, brother. I appreciate put it out into existence. Just let me all know. Black salt. Pat, Pat, you are up. Uh, I believe. Cleo's up, right? Well, you pick fighting. Pick fighting. Oh. Best family? What is that? No, I don't even think we have to do most of it. <laughs> Why is that a category? <laughs> right. Um. Let's go with best. Uh, is best game direction any good? Best game direction is it's most of the big hit heavy hitters again. It was the same ones. What about yeah, art direction? Uh, Ooh, art direction. Let's let's check out our direction. I don't remember exactly what that was. Wait, our direction right here. That's it might true. it might be a lot of the heavy hitters again, but we'll see. You never know. Never know. Oh yep. Told yep. you. Heavy hitters. <laughs> and guess all of them. All of them. And, 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 and guess these. and guess what? Hades on that list again. Not it definitely eight. ain't this one. It <laughs> definitely ain't for this one. Hades took off fast. Nominate I, me. The one thing I will say is Ghost of Tsushima looks better than Final Fantasy in my opinion. I will say because that. as dope as Midgar is, it's still a piece of shit. <laughs> 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 and they just made it look like a detailed project with pieces of wood everywhere. The amount of just lumber, just random pieces of wood in that game. But Ghost of Tsushima, if you've never been to Japan, which I have not, you literally see every type of forest, like bamboo, uh, cherry blossom, like it's super, super beautiful. So I feel like I would vote for Ghost on this. No, nothing beats killing somebody while like pink leaves are just flying in the air, mm. just, just soaring gracefully. And then you got this whole 
mega city Judge Dread projects that Final Fantasy out here living in. Mm-hmm. And it was just like, but though I gotta say, motherfuckers is fly. I did not, ex- I was like, you know what? I don't understand how you got height right. Like, I when I pictured Cloud, I was like, that's how tall he's supposed to be. That's right. how tall Baron is supposed to be. That's how tall Tiff is supposed to be. <laughs> but Midgar looked like it stank, so I'm gonna just go with Ghost of Tsushima. It did look like it stank. Yeah. Um, that's. I mean, that's two out of three. So I mean, it's. it's it look like we're going dark, that route. Dark horse though. Hades, Hades is Hades. fire. Hades is that dark horse. Yeah. So what I'm about, not like the best art game. direction. I, if I had to choose best art direction, I gotta agree with Pat. Ghost of Tsushima definitely has the best art out of you know between that and Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. It was great to see our characters brought to life. You know, more detailed, like Will's whole thing was seeing pretty much an Advent Children video game is what we got, but even better with the Final Fantasy VII remake. But Ghost of Tsushima is a beautiful game. So, yeah, I vote that one. I never respectfully wanted to kill somebody in a video game. Like, you ever kill somebody and it's like, I'm so sorry. As you lay on the rest, that's how I felt when I played Ghost of Tsushima. He's very respectful. Yeah. All right, so it's my turn. Um, So... I'm going to go. I saw a category I like. I want to go with best villain. The best villain category is right, right under best art direction. Uh, oh, no. no is, that, is that villain uh, or VR? That's VR. That's VR. I was about to say, they put best video game villain in here? I, I wish. I wish. Game. I'm just wishing into existence, I guess. Yeah. Unfortunately, they don't have that. And the VR, and the VR one's pretty garbage. So well, wherever the villain is in, in Last of Us 2, that, that Ronda Rousey brawlic ass chick, like that's a villain. She 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 pretty much took yeah, it. yeah it's you, you if you played the game, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh let's let's go with uh best debut game. Ah. Best hmm. debut game. Out the it's gonna gate. be right under best action. Go down right one more. Best action, best yeah. debut game. Let's see best what we debut got. game. I don't know what's on this one. Okay, best debut game. We have Mortal Shell, Carrion. Oh, um, Phasma. Phasma. I have no idea what any of these are. Phasma is the game that took off. uh, A lot of people started streaming this one on Twitch. It's a horror version of Among Us. Like, you got to talk through Discord, like Pat was mentioning earlier. Um, that's the only game that I actually recognize on this list. I don't know any of these other games. Which one were you talking about, Cleo? Uh, Phasmophobia. It's right here. Uh, yeah, let's, I, let's pass this one. I, I have nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't. Uh, yeah, let's let me pick another one if you don't mind. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's let's do best uh, adventure. I saw best adventure slash action game. Action adventure. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Of course. A lot. A lot of. <clears throat> if you know, a lot of these games are probably gonna be sharing that those categories just because you know what I mean. Ghost is a ghost is an action adventure game. Um, yeah, that's very true. If yeah. I see Hades on this list, Kadeem, I swear to God. Oh, you already know Hades on this list. <laughs> no, he's not. He didn't make the list. I wish. Ah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Go. Ooh, shit! And wow. your Star that's... Wars. Damn. I... Um, fellas, it's a deep list, though. One, it two, is. three, four, five out of these. I yeah. Uh, the fact Miles Morales is already on here. That's what I'm saying. It, it seems it seems too. I mean, I, I I played Assassin's Creed and and Miles Morales, and they're really good. But I feel like I, that's not fair to to vote for them. So here, here's my thing, Pat. So could you think of a game that could have had this place instead of Miles Morales or Assassin's Creed that then came out this year? Like maybe like Avengers. Yeah, I feel like that should be up for it. I mean, it didn't have a lot of staying power, but the campaign mode was ap- really, really solid. And it was, I mean, I, I love that game. So I feel like that, that could have got a, um, some room on this. I'm trying to think, what, what, what did we play this year? Um, I don't remember. Action Adventure. I, I know you loved Horizon, but I know that, that thing that came out last year. That's not yeah. This year. Um. I think that's the thing too. Like a lot of stuff, it didn't really drop at the beginning of the year like that. The new crash. 
I would put the new Crash on here. I really enjoy the new Crash Bandicoot. I, um, I think that's actually the best family, actually. Oh, is that what family means? Yeah, like family. Yeah, family oriented games. So oh. we can go over and take a we can go over and take a take a look at that one when we're done. But and Assassin's Creed is looking good too. So I can't. I I don't know. I would personally give this to Star Wars: Fallen Order, oh. just because I think uh, Ghost of Tsushima is a is a close second. Um, but I, I just feel like they really really narrowed in. Star Wars, and it's like Star Wars games were kind of hit or, hit and miss my whole life, <laughs> and yeah. I feel like they finally made a game uh, since uh, what was the one with uh, Star Killer? Um, Unleashed. Uh, uh, Unleashed. Uh, Force Unleashed. Unleashed. Since Unleashed, this was like a very very solid. This is pretty much it's like Sekiro and Ghost of Tsushima in Star Wars. So the fact that it had fan service, uh, I would put that above Ghost of Tsushima. But I'm not sleeping on Miles Morales or Assassin's Creed. I'm just not familiar enough. Uh, Cleo, yeah. what about you? I, I agree with Pat as far as why Star Wars, why he would choose that compared to Assassin's Creed and Spider-Man. But you know what's funny is like you, we also have to kind of realize that the the industry of gaming is who's making these nominations. So yeah. the people who the you know the the critics or the reviewers they've played these games you know six maybe six months in advance. So that's why they're on this list. Right. But us just getting our PS5s, high five, Pat, pal, uh, Assassin's Creed and Marvel's, uh, excuse me, and Spider-Man Miles Morales, they just dropped. So we, I can't give it that cosign like that. Right. Um, for the question of best action adventure game. I also want to read that part too. It says combining combat and transversal, uh, transversal and pu puzzle solving as well as a part of this as well. So I feel like that might change your narrative just a little bit. If you think of puzzle solving, action, yeah. combat, stuff like that, it might change your narrative just a little bit of what you what you would think. If, if that, oh yeah, yeah. Because if that's the case, then I'd have to agree with Pat. I'd have to go with Star Wars because that had all of that. Star Wars I, had all of that. I would like to see Star Wars get the dub. I would yeah. because that I feel like that opens up the door for Disney to to greenlight a lot more stuff from the Star Wars universe as video games. Right. So yeah. if that wins, it's critically acclaimed. People love it. And shout out to my man, um, I can't remember his last name, but Cameron for being in the canon as an actual Jedi within the Star Wars universe now just from doing this video game. Yeah. I think that's amazing. We may even see him pop up in The Mandalorian. That's that's all hey, man, he played Joker. I'll take it. Exactly. Got the Joker with fire. Yeah. Incredibly well. Yeah. Shout out to his, uh, also his role on Shameless, final season dropping this, uh, this, this year. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you want to move to best family or best indie? I feel like that's that's two well, pretty good ones. Well, good name. Let's have you pick one. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Hey, have you pick one? Which one you want to go to? All right, I'm going best indie because this is this is this is maybe where I'm, Hades can get the win. Maybe, nope. but it's tough. Ooh, it's tough. No. It's tough because of that goddamn fall, guys. Oh, God. You you forget it's an indie still. Yep. Exactly. How big it is. Nah, you got to give it to him. Shit. Got this is, this is my closest this point, one. Hades is just like that that he's he's that one that you didn't think would make it that you're like, oh wow, you're you're here you're a here? lot. But <laughs> but you know, he ain't gonna win nothing, you know? Shit. <laughs> you got your nominations. You on you, you know what it is. You're in the house, you're in the party, it's fine. Right. You got invited, you know what the fuck it is. Enjoy yeah, the trip got, and shut the fuck up. They got invited like seven times. They were nominated for a lot of stuff. I don't know if they're gonna be able to pull any win out though, unfortunately. It's it's going against some tough shit. I get it. Let's just move on, Fall Guys. Fall Guys yeah, gets the dub, uh, bro. Yeah, Damn man. it. Let's go, let's go ahead and go one more round before we uh before we close out. So uh Cleo, you are up. All right, bet. Let me check out these categories. Let us close with something dope. Hopefully I can find a tough category for us. Best mobile game, best family, best sports and racing, best multiplayer. Um, what about best action? Did we do best action? We mm -hmm. did not. We have not. Ooh. We did action adventure. Isn't it going to be the same stuff? I probably almost. Almost. It's, it's, what do you guys think between best action games for impact or best ongoing? I I uh, think I think best ongoing is actually a tough one. I was going to okay. check that out. That consists yeah. of sequels, but we got a chance to compare it to the thing beforehand. This goes into the whole games as a service, like games that have been out for quite some time and they're still going. Oh crap! Mm. See what I'm saying? Apex See what I'm saying? Legend. 
Destiny now, I would give this to Call of Duty because they switched it up and adapted and they were like, okay, everybody's liking this drop-in thing. We'll do it better than everybody else. This would be, an, a, this, I would love to see Call of Duty win this. Yeah, I, don't, I think Apex ain't been out long enough for you to say it's ongoing. I think it's still like trying to get its niche. Like it has this core group of people that, that really enjoy it, but I don't think it's made that worldwide phenomenon that it is like Call of Duty and Fortnite. Yeah, uh, but yeah, it. but I got I got to go with Call of Duty, man. Just Fortnite, I'm sorry to anybody that played Fortnite. Fortnite got dumb. Like Fortnite, like once you just start driving cars in here, I was like, what are we doing? What yeah. the fuck are we doing? Like you can I, fly now and all kind of stuff. I'm like, yo, I'm good. I'm I will. Good. I will say this: the Avengers in it, bro. You could be Thanos. You could pull up as Iron Man. You could fight as Wolverine. It's a lot. Who of stuff. apparently doesn't know that he's Wolverine? I don't know how that works. Anyway, No Man's Sky though, best comeback of all, almost of all time. If if yeah. you really see how much how much that game went through to even get to where it is now, it's incredible. Came out maybe what? three four years ago and has now turned into an actual. A great game. It took that long for it to get there, but it it picked up a lot of lot of lot of steam in the last couple of years. Uh, same thing with Destiny. Destiny is kind of just like that thing with Apex. Just I don't it's get there. It. Yeah, if you fuck with it, you fuck with it. If you don't, it's just like I've tried. I try to understand the world of Destiny, the characters, the story that's going on, the equipment, and it's it's a lot of just nothing to me. It, it doesn't attach. So Call of Duty Warzone. Give them the dub. They've adapted. They are on top. That game is never dropping out of the top three most streamed games on Twitch. Everyone is playing it. Everyone is watching it. People are learning from it every day. People want to learn learn new strategies. It's a beautiful game. I love it. Yeah, especially if you read what this is. Awarded to a game for outstanding development of ongoing content that evolves the player experience over time. Yeah, that sounds like Warzone. Yeah. Sounds like Warzone. Yeah. 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 I ain't got no That's place there. Wait, yeah. real quick. Family, let me just see family. We don't have to vote. I just want to see what's in it. Okay. <laughs> Let's see who Crash is up against nowadays. Yeah, Crash. I don't know if it's gonna win this one. I think Animal Crossing's in there, so that's probably uh, gonna. And Fall Guys. Oh. And Minecraft. The Home Circuit is in there. For the Mario Kart joint. Mario Kart Live. Okay. Oh, bro, this hard. This difficult wow. right here. It's it's between those first three. You sure not Minecraft though? Oh, you're right. You're right. Minecraft Dungeons is pretty fire too. I like Paper Mario, but I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it has enough. No, 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 no. Not for an award. Uh, nah, especially between these I, three. Give it to your boy Crash, man. He's a he's a legend in the game. <laughs> it, wouldn't be, it wouldn't be no PlayStation Five if it wasn't for them jean shorts. So man, I feel I like give it to him. Give him. Let him. Let him. Let him retire with with a W, man. I think Fall Guys or Animal Crossing might be taking this. I think Animal Crossing is going to take this one. Nah, oh, man. You got you to gotta have faith. <laughs> I want I want Crash to win, but you know you know what you know what you know what it is? Had Crash not got a remake and only this came out? Yes. What's wrong with the remake? The remake was fire. I, that's fire. the point. That's the point. I got it already. I had my like that was his comp that was his blackout. This this is Kingdom Come. Do you have any have you played this game? I have played this game. But between this one and Fall Guys, and then of course I don't play Animal Crossing, but you compare Animal Crossing to Crash 4. Tell me tell me something about this game. Because I feel like you're just blindly attacking Crash and I don't like it. Tell me some stuff about this. <laughs> you first of all, you have this old dumbass version of Crash it's like, that you gotta fight. Of course, oh, you that's guys... the picture that you're looking at. <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't because I didn't want to call him the one I was talking about. Like he kind of looked loopy and shit like that. It's like I said, Pat. It's a great, it's a great game. But look at its competition. Out of all, out of all four of us, who all have played Crash? Cleo, did you? Cleo, uh, Kaneem, have you played Crash? I've not. I've not touched Crash for. I'm waiting for the, the price drop on it. Cleo, have you played Crash? I'm gonna go ahead and answer for him. I'm gonna go ahead and answer for him. No. You no. Accusing no, I haven't played Crash. <laughs> I have not. I have not played Crash either. <laughs> what the hell? Which is so letting you know it ain't winning Best Family. <laughs> Here's hey, the thing for Crash. Hey, 
Here's the thing with station politics. They I wouldn't feel like, disrespect an OG. I feel like Crash is the Allen Iverson of video game characters. That's it right he's, there. He's highly respected. People love him, but he ain't never <laughs> won a ring. He has never won the people over and made it to the top tippity. The tip you, Crash no. never made it? Wow. I don't, I just, listen, Crash is a great character. Allen Iverson is a great comparison to that. He is the Allen Iverson of video game characters. Facts, I'm telling bro. you. Fact. That is, I'm yo, you can't, you can't argue that, bro. Like, for real. He really is the Allen Iverson every, of video games. Every game. Crash game, one through three, was a hit. Yeah, okay. but then then he kind of fell what, off what, off of that, and then well, I mean after after those first three, he broke out of PlayStation. They started having games on Xbox, start having a few games on the Game Boy Advance. They start connecting him with Spyro. They start moving him around a lot. They start selling him around. around. He's the, the Sonic. He's the Sonic around. of PlayStation. You make fun of Sonic. He's Sonic now. Damn. He's everywhere. Yeah, Damn. I mean they they finally brought him back. Obviously, he's you know on PlayStation. Of course, this is another time exclusive thing. Huh? He's gonna be in Smash. Mario's gonna sign him. That's what that. That's what happens to all of them. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, you end up there. So, so where are we going? Are you, guys going are you guys going Animal Crossing or Fall Guys? For best family, I'm going. Uh, I'm going Animal Crossing. I think that really is the definition of the best family video game. Fall Guys. I don't know anything about it though. It will you guys, frustrate them. No, from what I do understand about the game, though, you're never going to get frustrated or angry and break your Nintendo Switch over playing that video game. With Fall Guys, you'd break your PC or your freaking PlayStation and the remote controller over playing Fall Guys. I'm pretty That's sure it was a six-year-old kid fun. that said, motherfuck, in front of his mom, and it was all over from there. That's good family fun. It's the most adorable game you could play. It's like if if we decided that they wanted to have an adventure game for you to, and and like Nick Jr. children shows wanted to all oh. make a cute, adorable video game for you to play and interact it with animals and bubbles and sand and whatnot. They perfected it with Animal Crossing. It's the yep. cutest shit ever. Okay. I just like the fact that you brought up Nick Jr. I miss face. Face was a, was a great guy. Face, <laughs> fucking oh. face, bro. Face was on too early. Yeah. Yelling. Yeah. Ho -ho -ho! <laughs> Yelling? <laughs> Coming up next is Little Bear. Like you are too high. For Animal Crossing, you're gonna make them make more. Uh, and I, they they were gonna stop going making that for anyway. Like Fifteen years. Like, yeah. what do you think they gonna stop? Ain't this Animal Crossing three? No. no. No, Animal Crossing been out since like what GameCube? You said yeah, GameCube. What? How many? Yes, is there? bro. I don't know how many, but I know there are like this is a popular game in like that little category and stuff like that, man. That's the thing about video games. There's these pockets of like video games that have these massive followings we don't even be knowing about. Going up. What? Let's see, uh, uh, I think I'm up. You know what I'm gonna do. You got to make this our last joint, Will. You got to bring it home for us, brother. I got to bring it home for us. Oh, there's nine. Damn. Oh, yeah, yeah. we got it. Uh, I want to go with... Ooh, this is a tough one. Best narrative. That's best what narrative. I was thinking. I was thinking. I was thinking best narrative or best racing slash sports game. Oh, narrative. Narrative though. As soon as I said sports slash racing, I heard my answer. You already know what it is. It's 2K and FIFA. And you didn't and know rugby might be on there. I think it might have been. Oh, this is the same shit. Yeah, you guess what? Motherfucking Hades. Okay. Hey I man, I'm going with Hades on this one. I'm going with Hades on this one. Fuck it. No, you ain't never oh. seen. You ain't never played it. I don't. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just tired of seeing it and Kadeem not winning. Fuck it. Hades. Best narrative. Hades is taking home something, bro. It's gonna happen. I'm telling Motherfucking you. Motherfucking Hades. Satan I, never wins. No, outstanding storytelling and narrative development in the game. It don't oh. get better than Greek gods. Like, I, I'm, letting, I'm letting you know right now that 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 right there, it's gonna win this. Stay my reputation. It's going to win best narrative. Out of all these games, how at many a, Greek mythology games are there? It's not Pat. original. It's the same narrative. Let me guess. No. Is he trying to kill Zeus? Nope. <laughs> he's, tr he's trying to escape the underworld from his dad. That's Zagreus. That's Hades' son. He's trying to escape 
uh, the underworld. Every time he makes it to the top, he has to fight his father over and over again. This is about a demonic boy with daddy issues trying to leave home. Yep. Uh, I'm good. Just because uh, he wants to his room. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> let's not let's not act like this 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 ghost guy is not the most fucking uh same thing with samurais. I fight for respect and to fight honor. Who the fuck gives any shits about that? Damn Give me man. some good old underworld Hades. Slashing them up. I still don't like the style of how the game is played. Just but play narrative it. wise. Can never go wrong with the with the Greek gods. Been written already. I just love how none what of us it? talks about The Last of Us in this whole episode. I no know it wasn't about. for us. That video game wasn't for us, and we tried to make it about it. And I gotta be honest, they failed. They dropped the ball completely on Why that. I want gameplay. It keeps sitting in the corner to the right. Just yeah, like every single time it comes up, it's like in the shadows. Like right, hey, you know, we we're just, just won't go it over there. there. We know. We stopped at Haiti. Uh, nope, that's it. Kadeem, when is the actual video game awards? Uh, December tenth. December tenth. So we will know our winners then, man. Yes, All right. We will. Yes, we will. And since y'all don't know, I'm just going Hades. <laughs> Take Butcher and Dan Hades, bro. There we go, man. Get your you both. Get my vote. Yeah, so. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you do check out the video game awards. You can head to like either um, IGN or any other video game news outlets that's on social media or on internet to find out exactly what time they will be airing, what time to be showing. And hey, you never know. They might let the arcade tokens participate since we didn't made this episode. So you never know what's going to happen. But uh, let us know in the comments below who you think are taking the awards this year for whichever category that we came up with on this episode, or even for the ones that we didn't. Let us know. And uh, more than well, likely, they. we are we're going to have a discussion about who took home what, and if we were right and if we were wrong. But this has been another episode of the RK Tokens podcast. Make sure that you like, follow, and subscribe to all of our social media platforms for the RK Token. That also includes our YouTube and our Twitch, twitch.tv slash the RK tokens and as you can see here in our art and our video version we have a uh, place and display where you can watch them for our uh, audio folks you can watch them on YouTube you can watch it on Twitch you can watch it on Twitter Facebook live Steam IGN GameSpot TikTok live Trovio and of course livexlive.com plenty of spaces for you to check out the awards and you never know we might be watching with you so you never know what we might pop up at but yep. make sure you also follow our personal twitches twitch.tv slash patrick cloud slash cleo thomas slash Cathadius, and of course slash will farrow thank you for everybody who was also checking out the audio version of this podcast available on all audio streaming platforms this has been the rk tokens podcast i am the anomaly will farrow Leo Thomas, a.k.a. Mr. Slick Living. Patrick Cloud. And shout out to the tech guy, Kadeem, and we will catch you next time.